Hello, my friends. Welcome to Nightmare Edition. We shattered the sky. And now it is time to belly the beast. Let's give this a go. Deep scans have analyzed that we are going to go beat up a queen. I really wish the queen in this mission was named. I think it'd be cool. It'd be nice if you didn't kill the queen and instead it was like actually the first peek at Zagar or whatever. That would have been a nice thing to like add. Make her burrow tunnel away at the end and then rename her when Heart of the Swarm comes out. Something like that. It would have given it a little bit of context to her or something. Chaser Zerg forces in 545. Okay, so we got to get a move on. Let's do this. Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> you gotta be a little bit careful though because all the heroes on this mission are incredibly vulnerable and I don't wanna get overwhelmed. Like if one of them falls, that's gonna be real, real bad because it takes like 30 seconds for them to sit back up or something. So I think as always, the majority of this mission is gonna be a combination of waiting for penetrator round and then for shredder grenade back and forth back and forth for basically ever if you use those in good succession and don't miss like i did right there then it's not that bad okay what do we got here what's the plan sounds like a plan hit these boom and then it's going to be time for a little bit of uh flame and betty Everybody's favorite StarCraft-based waifu. Oh, whoa. Uh, Betty is getting a little bit... <laughs> Betty got owned. All right. Well, then. That is definitely more enemies than normal. Or maybe they had better upgrades. It might, I should check. They might have, like, 1-1 one, one or something here. I believe that my infantry... Yeah, they have 0-0. Zero, 2-1. Zero. Oh, wow. That is definitely better than normal. I'm pretty sure. I'd actually appreciate if someone that knows could tell me, but I don't think they have 2-1 normally. Gotta go find the boys. And then, this area is always a little bit finicky to get into. I'm gonna try, there we go. Pulling that guy, hitting that, and then get him in the front because these do extra versus Oh gosh, no, no, no. Tychus! What have you done, Tychus? Oh, they do extra versus armored though. Oh, I hate this area. Crap. No! Swan! Well, that didn't go as intended. We can just sit here and wait for the res. And by sit here, I mean Jim can go rescue these guys while the other two wait nearby and patch him up. So it's not the biggest waste of time. Then we're just going to keep those guys over there. I think it's easier. Once we get to the boss fight, they will be teleported on over, and we will be done with this area. Now, this is the Jay Brino trick. He's the one that taught me this one, is you just toss this bad boy right here. Or bad girl, I guess. You can move on forward, and that's definitely more than normal. Oh. And she'll just tank all those. Fire the shot, fire the shot. Let's go. Sounds like a plan. So the next area is going to be a group of guys popping on up. Like a plan. What's the plan? Nice kill. I probably should have waited for the aberration, actually. Just do not lose Jimothy right here. No, no, no. Oh, Swan. So Swan is actually more vulnerable than the other heroes on this mission because he is armored and the others are light. Man, these guys do not take damage. What's the plan? Jim goes this way. Tychus goes this way. Easy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just get on the point. Wait, do we need Swan? Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, that's fine. <laughs> you don't need Swan. Got it, partner. Oh, hello. So everybody over here, get the Marines and the Medic in the back, and then we're going to have to do our best. There is 125 until the Jer Zerg Chaser Force, which means that we are going to have to fight it. we got to be real aggressive against these Nidises. Make sure that we're in a great spot as it spawns. Let's see how much damage it actually does. 
I don't know if the Zerg Chaser Force is like a LOL you lose or a this turns the tides in a pitched battle type thing. That is actually a lot more than normal. So what I think I want to do or I need to do is save all of my AOE abilities for whatever attacks. And it is 20 seconds on the cooldown there, so I'm going to fire one last grenade and then we're just going to store up. You can attack that for a bit. All right, 200 tons of Zerg coming on us. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, it's obviously that was a lot of stuff. Oh gosh, there's more. Oh no. Um. Oh. Hmm. So I need to be about 18 seconds faster getting to this point. We're going to go full zoomer mode, alright? Fastest we have ever been. <laughs> yeah, first wave, definitely not a problem. Second wave, instant guaranteed death. <laughs> but 18 seconds isn't too bad. Because I lost Swan, I took the area over there pretty poorly. As long as I... Just blast my cooldowns really quick. I thought the spines would die faster, honestly. I was just wrong about that. It was poor decision making on my part, and I was punished for it. There we go. That was a good shot. And then we can move Tychus up. He's going to be able to grenade the next group. So this mission's gym penetrator round works really weird. I think I started explaining that earlier. It fires in a line, and it doesn't go over objects but it also stops at his line of sight. So if you, or rather it stops at your entire team's vision, which is weird. Oh, Swan, come on, dude. So it's a bit funky in that respect. If you have someone out there spotting for it, the bullet continues to travel. But if you don't, then you're out of luck. It's a weird, weird design. So Betty got kind of bopped right here. I'm going to put Betty over here instead. I'm just going to be real aggressive with my cooldown use. I'm not even going to alternate. It's just every time it's off cooldown, i got to roast someone. Betty can probably take that guy down. Ignore the creep tumor. It does not matter. Who are you guys? You're a Hydra. But, like, if I were to fire the round when I was down there, it would not hit those. Because I didn't have vision. But if I did have a guy that gave vision, it would hit them. And it takes a lot of getting used to because it is a bad design. <laughs> it makes no intuitive sense in the real world. Not even close. Like right there. The line was most definitely over that guy. Could you not die just for once? I don't think I'm asking that much of you. Oh gosh, Tychus. Okay, Swan can go be the ones that rescue these people while... <laughs> I hope we're making better time than last time. I think we are. I feel like we are. I like that voice line. I think it's funny. Okay, so we drop the Betty trap. You know, we might be able to just leave the Betty boys. You know? I wonder. No. Betty seems to be a lot less durable. She has 750 HP, one armor. I don't know what her normal stats are, but normally Betty feels very, very OP. And I don't know if it is a enemy buff thing or Betty nerf thing. So we have definitely more time for the Chaser Force. We gotta wait for these cooldowns though, because this is the fastest way to deal with the Nidus. And you cannot run past the Nidus. I was, I learned this when I was trying to figure out speedruns. If you don't wait for it, then what ends up happening is these Niduses are alive during this section and it becomes overwhelming very quickly. Cool. 115 it goes up to two minutes, so we're going to have to deal with one wave of Chaser Forces still. However, 
I think that we can be very prepared for that. Um, we can at least stall it out, right? So I'm going to try to save the grenade for the next Nidus. I think it spawns over here. Maybe it's over here. I don't remember. This isn't bad. Just auto attack and be very, very calm and careful. Bunch of guys over here do not matter. There he is. Then we can drop a Betty. Then another Nidus, probably up top. Oh, James! And Tychus. 58 seconds until the chaser force. I'm really trying to be ready for it. Because I am scared. And I think it's okay to be scared. I like that they send the extra roaches here. On normal, on the traditional brutal, there's just one hydro that pops up over there in that attack wave. And it's like, what? Why? Why does it have its own, like, voice line of popping up? It's not intimidating. Also, there's banelings here, which is just not the case normally, I'm pretty sure. Is this the Hydra? No, this is the Aberration. I always think there's an Ultra on this mission, and there just isn't. Alright. So here they come. So, Tychus gets the first nade. See if we can take these down. Three, two, one. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> That's a lot more tense than normal. All right, let's go as fast as we can. We got a good save, and these guys hold in the back. Let's try to stutter step. Unfortunately, Tychus is a very bad stutter stepper. It's just not really in. <laughs> Damn it, straight. Uh, or I guess that was uh, Swan that demonstrated, but still. Yeah, Tychus, because he attacks so many times, it's effect. You'd have to stutter step five times per second, and that's just not humanly viable. <laughs> At least, grantly viable. I'm sure that there's someone that can do it. So snipe one of them. I guess I shouldn't have sniped right there. Oh, that might actually be really bad, because I'm taking extra time now. We can wait for another snipe cooldown. We're still gonna get a good shot. Just make sure that Betty is firing to the heavens. Ooh, good grenade. That's going to be it. I would like to move over here and assassinate this guy. Thank you, Swan. And then we can head on over and fire a penetrator right there. And keep going. Please don't knock anyone over. Now, there's like a bunch of sneaky behind banes, right? There's front banes, too. Do they hit from... They do... Something hits from behind. I don't remember what it is. It's not the banelings, though. But I would like to be able to toss Betty down if I could. Oh, man. This game feels so good to play. <laughs> I was... uh Today for the stream, I played... Iron Harvest, and... Oh, no, 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 James! That, last part was that game does not control well, and... Oh, it feels so much better to be playing StarCraft. My units go where I want them to. Do we need to bring these guys along? Oh, gosh. Hello. Yeah, I'll bring them all along. Just in case. They... We did get Juggernaut, right? Yeah, we got Juggernaut plating. That's going to be very helpful. There we go. We have Vision, so we can blast it. Uh, Stepman, you should not be in the front. If you're such a coward... Poke, poke, poke. Oh, I really need to get Vision of that next night, us. Ooh, hello. Hey, good thing we got that upgrade. Here's one. The flanky boys are on the way. And then there's... We can just drop that, and that'll deal with the flank. Assuming there's 
is just infested, right? Yeah, I think so. Tychus push. Now there's going to be that part with the Ultralisk really soon, so I got to keep those cooldowns ready. There he is. Be very careful. Now there's going to be one more little bit. It does look like... Oh, there was an aberration over there. Well, let's not fight the aberration and just move on to the boss fight. Nope, nope, nope. Run! What's the plan? Oh, crap. Fire in your hole. There we go. Are so, fascinating. so, for the next part, I want to keep these guys in the back, and... Oh, look at that! We made it way before the Chaser Force. We made really good time here, so... This is going to work. I like the fact that it is a timer, and it's not necessarily a death timer. There is room to kind of negotiate not negotiate but if you pre-prepare for it you know exactly when you're gonna have to deal with it so you prepare those cooldowns and maybe you could fit 30 seconds after it maybe you could fit 20 if you play worse than the 30 maybe you could fit 40 if you're not bad like i am i think that's neat design uh oh please don't there we go Stemmon's fine. These guys can come from behind. The infantry are actually pretty darn good when it comes to... <laughs> when it comes to killing those small infested. They don't mind too much. These are infestors on the side, I think. I'm going to try to deal with them not using cooldowns. And then is that another Nidus? It is. Thank goodness for Jim's radar. And then, what do we got? Ultras? Hell, earthquake. That's no quake. It's ultralisks. Imagine if there were ultralisks and quake. I think it's normally one ultralisk, so... Doubling that up. Oh, I missed. Man, Betty is good. I have to wait for another AoE. And just... Tank with these guys. I really want to keep the infantry alive for part three. Everything that we have for the third section of the boss fight makes life much, much more simple. What's the plan? Raiders roll. We got company, Jimmy. So we're gonna move forward. Oh, we have a lot of time in this one. Hmm. Oh, oh, of course, because the boss fight takes a long time, doesn't it? It's not just for the section, it's for the queen fight, which could go on for a long, long time. Yeah, I get it. It looks like you get about 45 seconds extra after you finish the event. And then it fully resets for every new section. Seems to be the math. This is a fun design. I normally am very eh on this mission, but the pressure to keep moving is actually really nice. The pressure to not... Why am I so bad? Come on, Tychus. Come on, Tychus. You're fine. Oh, we lost a medic. Oh, no. Okay, so the Omegalisk is over here. We're going to take these guys down. Keep moving. Blast those. Made that. Fire here. That investor is down. We can swing this guy over here. Uh, Betty, could you help with this? And then try to hit as many things as we can. Looks like there's just infested Terran lap. Yep. And that is another placement that Jay Barino taught me. He really taught me how to do this mission because I just didn't know it that <laughs> They microed! What? Why did they micro? <laughs> that was amazing! Okay, I need to calm down for the queen fight. This is the big ending right here. Let's do this. So everyone goes. Uh, I think that I want to send the infantry this way to start clearing things out. Let's get Jim to head over here and get a couple good shots. And we're just going to kill as many eggs as possible. 
And then we're going to potentially lose Swan. We do need him. So did she run out of eggs in here? No, she didn't. She just got bored. Weird. It's not standard behavior. Usually she really likes hatching the eggs. So she's going to burrow, which means we can send the infantry over here. Is she just going to... Wait, where's she going to pop up? Phase two or three. Yeah, she's just going to get confused. She has one egg. All right. She's going for more egg. Oh, crap. Uh, save me, swan. Finish off the eggs. I think she's got a lot more HP than normal. Now she's going to go to part number three. I think that she's not going to be able to hit the eggs on that side, though. So we could just get people in position and start the fight. Swan tanking is fine here. We're not going to use cooldowns because she's going to burrow very soon. And then we want to see if we can get Swan in front, this guy in front, this guy in front. Toss a Betty down. And I don't... It's kind of... I think it's random where she spawns. There's a couple different... Oh, no! Um, ooh. Well, we're going to be on top of her to start the fight real quick. <laughs> Well, it worked. Oh, that scared me. <sighs> uh, let's get out of here. Everybody that can. Oh, the medic got killed. Oh, no. I'm so sad. I guess, are the only two people we lost in this fight the medic sisters? Oh, we may have lost a couple marines. I think we lost two marines and two medics. Well, we can declare that they were best friends. They went on double dates all the time, and now they can. In the medic afterlife. It's a shame, but, you know. When you go into the Zerg tunnels, you kind of know what you're getting. Especially with me as your commander. They should have signed up for the casual difficulty. So we're almost up here. I've always felt this part is particular. Ooh, that was a good Bane hit. Let's get these guys in front. I've always felt that this part is particularly unimpressive as an escape sequence. Like, the audio is not particularly epic. It doesn't really pretend in a lot of ways. You know? I think they could have done better. Uh-oh. Block the bands. Oh, right at the end. Oh, no, my friends. I'm so sorry. Nothing like a good old fashioned knockdown, drag out brawl. Well, I did lose units. How many? <sighs> well, it didn't say. Whatever. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Wow, Rainer and Tychus were really close. 395 versus 392. That's crazy. Usually when I stream this mission, we have bets for who wins, and it kind of alternates between the two, but it's generally Jim. I've never seen them that close before. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I know that this wasn't an hour-long mission on Char. Darn. But I think the added intensity there is really fun. It felt so much more... I don't know, like I really had to get going, and that was super cool. I enjoyed it quite a lot. And if you're looking for longer videos, I have a feeling you're going to get one tomorrow. If I had to, if I had to give you a secret right now, it would be that if there's any mission that I expect to get my butt kicked on a lot, it's going to be all in. <laughs> As it should be. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.